Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Beautiful people, hi guys, hi beautiful people, welcome to my channel, welcome, welcome. So guys, let me just go straight to the point. So guys, today we are going to be bobbing our daughter's hair, we are going to be cutting it off. I feel so scared, I feel so scared when we were cutting our daughter's hair. But yeah, we decided to cut it off because our daughter was eating her hair and it's not good. I was so scared you can see it in my face i thought maybe oh my god this thing will hurt but yeah i've already i've babbled my head once but it doesn't hurt but i don't know i feel like it was hurting my child i don't know but yeah i guess that is my motherly instinct i felt like ah this thing is painful but we decided to cut our daughter's hair because she was eating her hair she would draw she would pull out her hair and put it in her mouth and then later i'll see it on her diapers which is very very bad you can see her father, her father is so serious. I tried so many things to distract my daughter because she was crying. I'll put cartoon, I'll sing for her, I'll change her position. We'll do so many things just for her to be happy, but she kept on crying. And yeah, you know how babies are. Like, I think boys also do these things whereby they're cutting their hair and they'll cry. But yeah, here she is watching cartoon. We're just distracting her with her cartoons and just you know trying to entertain as much as we can it wasn't really easy but i'm glad that we did it one time for all and as well her hair was uneven the back of her hair when she was born she had a whole of full hair but later along the line her hair started chopping off at the back so i decided to cut it off so yeah guys i was just here you know arranging the room we have a rug in our house and then yeah our daughter you know she's a baby she puts food there she plays there and there's just quite so many deaths so i decided to raise the rug sweep the under because you know dust used to get in even though it's covered it's funny how you can see fine dirt on beneath it so i was cleaning it you know this is my daughter she was just crying she wanted to walk she's in a phase where she's learning how to walk and then she wants me to be playing with her every day but yeah sometimes i get so tired i was just trying to put her on the chair so that you know she will allow me to do what i want she, but she just wanted to play i'll put her on the chair she would come down i'll put her she would come down she wouldn't let me to do what i wanted to do but yeah that is it so you can see her she's just there she's just thinking i'm playing with her so this is me just arranging the the rug back i took it out so i'm just putting it back after sweeping it and cleaning it This is the end result. I already fixed the chairs, put the rug, swept it, clean it, and then yeah, I was done with it. So, rugs are very hard to clean because the thing sticks on it, and especially if you have a dark rug. So we, later in the day, we decided to take a walk, or more like I decided to take a walk with her. I just wanted to walk outside, you know, just walk around, get to see outside because we had it was a sunny day, and then um, yeah, I just wanted to take a walk with my daughter because we're in winter season and the weather is so cold, so you can barely go out these days. But yeah, this particular day it was sunny and we just decided to go outside so i wanted to throw this question to mothers out there am i the only one that didn't buy my child shoes when she was like a year old i mean my daughter is still a year old but 
I don't see the need of buying shoes for babies when they are little. I mean, it's cute when they wear it in their outfits, but I do not see the need for it, if that makes any sense. I'm really the only one that thinks that way. I think this is like the only shoe. Um, well, she has some other pairs of shoes, but she doesn't have a lot of shoes. Like, she may have like three pairs of shoes that she, I bought for her or that we bought for her but i don't see the need in my issues am i the only one that think this way please do let me know did, do you, did you do the same thing for your child because i don't see the point of buying shoes when they don't walk i'm going to buy shoes now because she's walking but buying it knowing that they don't walk i don't see the need and as well i read an article that says that shoes were not so good for children especially when they are growing because i don't know i read some weird article at when i was pregnant and that was also one of the reasons why i decided not to buy my daughter's shoes but don't let me know if i'm the only one that think that's way in the comment section